so hello everyone welcome to another video on transducers which is a topic of uh, pi instrumentation so we will start from the basic introduction of transducers so coming on to the definition of transducers it is, is it is a device which converts a physical quantity into a proportional electrical signal it is called that is called a transducer so converts a physical quantity into a electrical signal okay like the heat energy or any kind of energy it converts it to the electrical signal okay transducers will have basically two main components that is first is the sensing element sensing element and the other is the transduction element okay so coming on to the classic classification of transducers the transducers can be classified broadly on the basis of transduction form used or as primary as secondary transducers active and passive transducers or transducers and inverse transducers by the process used to convert signal energy into the electrical signal for this transducers can be categorized as active transducers and passive transducers this is the first classification so active transducers they convert one form of energy directly to the another for example photovoltaic cell in which light energy is converted to electrical energy you know uh, one common example is the your so passive transducers they are the transducers which require energy to be put it in order to translate changes due to the measure and they utilize the principle of controlling a dc excitation voltage or an ac carrier signal so basically what they are trying to say is we have to translate first we obtain one signal then we translate it then we then the translated signal is finally converted to electrical signal okay for example a variable resistance placed in a wheatstone bridge in which voltage voltage is an output of circuit which respect, uh, reflects the physical variable okay so voltage is the variable resistance is defining voltage okay so voltage the voltage we get is the output of the first signal then now with the help of a galvanometer or a like a voltmeter we can measure this okay so coming on to the resistive transducers so they are the transducers which convert which uses actually resistance resistance that is uh, we define like this they use this uh, resistance as a component to change the elect to uh, signal energy to change the signal energy signal energy to electrical electrical signal okay so they are of uh, some of the types are given here that is resistance strain gauge transducer they change the change in the value of resistance of metal semiconductor due to the elongation or compression is known as the measurement of torque or displacement or force okay resistance thermometer this uh, you can uh, 
visualize a little better the change in resistance of metal wire due to the change in temperature known by the measurement of temperature okay so resistance is getting changes you know resistance is uh, direct, uh, is proportional to the temperature so here resistance is getting changed due to temperature okay and this change we observe we note and then we convert this into the electrical signal resistance hygrometer then uh, the fourth is the hot wire meter this you can read from here and then the photoconductive cell this is uh, you can uh, visualize it also a better in a better manner like the change in resistance of a cell due to a corresponding change in light resistance of a cell corresponding change in light flux light flux what is light flux light flux is suppose this is a area of cross cross section a so the number of light beams passing through it okay that is called the flux light flux actually okay then is the thermistor change in resistance of a semiconductor that has a negative coefficient of resistance is known as the corresponding measure of temperature okay coming on to the capacitive transducers capacitive transducers by the name they tell us that they are using capacitors to convert the signal energy the first one is the variable capacitance pressure gauge the principle is variable capacitor capacitance pressure gauge the principle of operation is the distance between two parallel plates the distance between two parallel plates is varied by externally applied force okay is varied by externally applied force so what we are doing is when we change the distance suppose d of a capacitor then the capacitance varies okay capacity capacitance will vary by doing this okay so we record this change basically what we are doing is we are using different components okay to create a change so that we can measure it okay like the capacitor microphone principal operation sound pressure varies the capacitance between a fixed plate and a movable diaphragm application speech music and noise so one will be the fixed one will be the diaphragm because of the air pressure which is generated by our sound waves so this will move horizontally or uh, it will oscillate then the capacitance will change and then we measure it the change then we transfer the signal then we are using inductors as a transducer okay you can uh, read it from here like um, i'll explain one like the eddy current gauge principle of operation is inductance of a coil is varied by the proximity of an eddy current plate application displacement thickness okay then voltage and current transducers okay now from resistance capacitance then we are uh, with then we are come to the voltage and current transducers ye you can also read this this is totally theoretical part you have to learn this okay now the self generating transducers no external power needed they are called they are also also it is a category of active transducers they do not require any external power and produce an analog voltage or current when stimulated by some physical form of energy for example a thermocouple 
or a thermopile principle operation uh, will be an emf generated emf is generated across the junction of two dissimilar metals like uh, we draw a diagram on this this is another metal and then this is of another metal and then emf is generated in this and then we record the change like this we do the whole thing okay moving coil generator we have read in our previous classes also so motion of a coil in a magnetic field generates a voltage applications will be the velocity and vibration calculation of velocity and vibrations okay so the next part will be our the physical and the chemical principles used so this is the second uh, we have covered the active and passive transducer cla uh, one classification active and passive is completed here okay now the second part will be by the physical or chemical principles used okay so for example a variable resistance variable resistance devices uh, effect devices optical fiber transducers okay the third one will be the by application for measuring a specific physiological variable for example flow transducer pressure transducer temperature transition uh, this is uh, not that much important for a exam point of view then uh, the what is important for the exam point of view is the piezoelectric transducers okay so let's highlight it a little bit okay so the piezoelectric transducer but firstly we have to understand what is piezoelectric effect it is a property of natural crystalline substances to develop electrical potential along a crystallographic axis in response to the moment of charge as a result of mechanical deformation so what is happening here is we have a crystal like structure where atoms are arranged in a proper manner okay now when the mechanical deformation takes place in this then a electric potential is generated along this crystal and then this electric generation of this electrical uh, potential is called the piezoelectric effect okay the piezoelectricity is pressure electricity the reverse is also present when an electrical field is applied the crystal changes its shape okay it is also called the pressure electricity and the reverse is also present one application of pressure the change q developed along particular axis is given by the q uh, we have read this in our previous classes q is equal to df where the d is the distance f is the force and q is the charge then d is the this here is the piezoelectric constant the change in voltage can be found by assuming that the system acts like a parallel plate capacitor suppose like in this picture we can assume by let me take another color we can assume this two sides of the crystal as the two plates of a capacitor okay then uh, here it is written system acts like a parallel plate capacitor where the voltage e naught across the capacitor is charge q divided by the capacitance c okay we can treat we can assume this crystal as parallel plate capacitor okay the principle of operation is that 
when as asymmetrical crystal lattice is distorted so this is the principle of operation when asymmetrical crystal lattice is distorted a change a charge reorientation sorry a charge reorientation takes place causing a relative displacement of the negative and the positive charges okay the displaced internal charges induce surface charges the displaced internal charges induce surface charges like this is the our crystal suppose this is our crystal then here charge will suppose uh, this left one is the positive right one is the negative then all these charges will get displaced from their positions okay like this then when they are displaced okay causing relative displacement of negative and positive charges the displaced internal charges internal charges when they are displaced they induce surface charges okay suppose the left one is the positive now then the left plate will be treated as the positive plate and the other will be treated as negative plate okay of the of opposite polarity and opposite side of the crystal crystal the surface charge can be determined by measuring the difference in the voltage between electrodes attached to its surfaces so we attach a voltmeter so that we can measure the voltage here piezoelectric materials have high resistance piezoelectric talking about piezoelectric materials they have high resistances okay this is important and therefore when a static deflection is applied the charge leaks through the leakage resistor it is thus important that input impedance of the voltage measuring device must be higher than the piezoelectric sensor so what they are trying to say is the voltage uh, the impedance which we are giving should be much more uh, that the piezoelectric sensor can sense because uh, in between these two charge uh, leakage of charge possibility of leakage of charges is very often a large number of crystallographic substances are known but the most exten extensively used piezoelectric crystal crystals are quartz tourmaline and ammonium dihydrogen phosphate Rochel salt is also common. Lithium sulfate. The all these all you have to remember. Lead, lead, zirconite, quartz is the most stable natural crystal, which have high and uh, high mechanical and thermal stability. So this is the circuit diagram of a piezoelectric transducer. Okay. So what is happening here is, so here is the mechanical effect. Here is the electrical effect. then we are giving the mechanical force or we can uh, we have read that the vice versa or the reverse is also true here so uh, you have to learn this so this is the end of the video okay so uh, coming on to the pre piezoelectric transducers which are very important for our exam point of view or the understanding point of view so we will discuss okay here piezoelectric transducers so now coming on to pressure transducers this is a small topic a pressure transducer it is a device which converts an applied pressure into a measurable electrical signal that is very it is very simple then it consists of two main parts an elastic material which will deform when exposed to a pressurized medium and an electrical device which detects the deformation the elastic material can be formed into many different shapes and sizes depending upon the sensing principle and the range of pressures to be measured the most common method of utilizing an the elastic material is the form it into a thin flexible membrane called a 
diaphragm the electrical device which is combined with the diaphragm to create a pressure transducer can be based on the resistive or capacitive or inductive principle of operation and the example the most common example of this pressure transducer is a microphone okay which we all have in our smartphones in our mobiles or uh, in our recording uh, in our earphones or our recording mics everything okay so it is a very important invention which took place <laughs> because of this we all are able to record actually so this is the end of the video and if you like it then do share with your friends do subscribe it also so i get a motivation when a view is increased on my channel uh, my channel is new so i hope you like it and there are many flaws in me in my um, orating technique but i am still improving it so anyways let's uh, meet in another video thank you for watching